Hello everyone, this is Norse, once again, your immigration consultant. This time I would like to discuss about common law partner in Canada. What is a common law partner in Canada? They are not legally married to each other, can either be female to female, male to male, or female to male. They are 18 years old or older. And take note of this, they have been living together for at least 12 consecutive months, meaning you've been living together continuously for one year without any long period apart. Periods apart meaning if either of you left your home, it was for family obligations, work or business travel, any time spent away from each other must have been short and temporary. When at least one partner chooses to end the relationship, we consider the partnership to be over. You will need to give proof of common law relationship. Shared ownership of residential property, joint leases or rental agreements, bills for shared utility accounts such as gas, electricity, telephone, and joint utility accounts. Important documents for both of you showing the same address, such as driver's licenses, insurance policies, and identification documents. You don't need to include all these items, whatever I've mentioned previously, to prove that your relationship is real. They may consider other proof as well. You can always choose the document checklist to find out what to submit with your application. Please note also that they don't or the immigration doesn't return photos, telephone bills, or letters. So don't send any video, don't send any original pictures. They will not return all those original documents, even the marriage certificates and passport. So don't send those things. However, you should send certified photocopies unless the checklist or country-specific requirement asks you to submit originals. Now, let's listen to a real consultation about common law partner, about somebody who is married back in their home country, and somebody who wants to get a spousal sponsorship or common law partner sponsorship this is my advice i hope you will learn from it how did you hear about me at omni news po omni news okay okay all yep. right well um that's a good thing i'm a, a registered uh, licensed immigration consultant so in terms of your situation i want to hear out before i can um, i could i could be able to assess kung ano man yung situation nyo so sabihin nyo ano istorya ng ano nyo ng relationship nyo <laughs> ano po ba uh... Dumating po ako April 2022. Okay. Alala ko siya nung nag-start. Dumating ako sa Canada. Okay. So, nandito na siya like <clears throat> seven years ago. Okay. Seven, so, eight years. Kaya. Okay. So, uh, nung dumating ka, anong papel mo? Uh, work permit po. Work permit? Tapos, under, uh, what, what, <clears throat> under what kind of work permit? Uh, provincial nominee po. Okay. Ako po, di po ba? Yeah, yeah. Ikaw muna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Provincial nominee. Um, nominee. Okay. Sa Yukon ka, di ba? Okay, so never ka bang umalis from Yukon? Hindi pa. Hindi, okay. Alright, so um, April 2022, work permit provincial nominee. May PR ka na ba ngayon? Apo, February 2023 pa ako na PR. February 2023 ka PR. Okay, so you... So, anong relationship nyo? Spouse? Common law partner? Uh, common law, I guess. You guess? <laughs> okay, hold on. Sure. I need to make sure. Um, kung April 2022, ibig sabihin nagsama na ba kayo by that time? April 2022? Uh, technically kasi, isa lang kami ng address. Kasi po yung accommodation na is provided by yeah. the employer. So, okay. Oh, okay. Isa lang yung address namin. Okay, good. So, that's uh, that means kasi kapag ka 
CLP or common law partner if you are claiming for that um, kailangan nagkaroon kayo ng cohabitation for at least 12 months dito sa Canada na magkasama kayo right? So that is what they call the CLP. Of, um, ano naman kapag kahalimbawang marriage certificate, dapat kailangan yung marriage certificate. But I wanna, I wanna know, do you have any past relationship yung ano, ikaw? Ako pa wala. How about si, si uh, CLP? Meron po siya. Married mm-hmm. sa Philippines. Okay. Married ka sa Philippines. Okay. So, that is the biggest thing right now, right? Married siya sa Pilipinas. Nag, nag, ano na ba kayo? Did you ever get the chance to file a divorce? Um, nag, nasa process po kami na nag-pass <coughs> ng yung ipinapanotary sa Philippines. So, okay. inihintayin na lang po namin na bumalik ulit yung papers para... Uh, para ipasa namin ulit dun sa family court dito sa Yukon. Okay. So, in terms of um, your spouse ulit um, or CLP, um, I know na nagpasa na kayo ng <coughs> whatever things that you needed to do. Anong intention mo? I-divorce mo ba yung nasa Pilipinas? Nag-sign na siya ng divorce. Oh, so nakapag-sign na kayo. So, you're, it's under process yung divorce certificate. May mga anak ka ba sa Pilipinas? Opo, oh, pero hindi ko dinig niya. Isa. <coughs> Oh, hindi mo dineclare. Okay. Uh, what do you mean hindi mo dineclare? Ah, so, hold on. Anong papel mo nung pumunta ka dito? Okay, foreign worker. Okay, in terms of foreign worker nung dumating ka dyan, did you ever get the chance to maintain your status or permanent residence or whatever? I believe it's a good, um, it's not, right? Kasi nga, I've seen it that like, you know, <clears throat> we're talking about CLP, meaning we need uh, immigration status here. So, ikaw siguro, um, yung foreign worker status mo or work permit uh, status mo, nawala. Is that correct? Nawala. Okay, nawala. So, you don't have... Nung, 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 nung pumutok yung 2014, na, naalala niya, mm-hmm. si Victoria. Mm-hmm. Yung nagilaglaw yung mga puti. Oh, okay. So, nawalan ka ng uh, status at that time. Right now, wala kang status. Um, <clears throat> okay, so kailan, since kailan yon? 2015? 2015. 2015. Kasi pumunta ako okay. to- Toronto noon. Eh, eh, yun sa Toronto naman yan. <coughs> mm-hmm. So, Saturday, Sunday, Hussein. Hindi okay. naman yun Okay, okay. Yeah, I know. Some people can do that actually. So, okay. So, 2015, wala ka ng status at that time. Pero dumating ka dito, anong year? Pakiulit mo yung dumating ka dito? Jan- January 2013. 20, 13. January 2013. Okay. 13. Ah, so wala na. More than 10 years ka na, right? So, hindi ka na pwede sa ETA. I was thinking about the ETA sana para makapag-apply ka ng ETA in the meantime. However, um, in terms of yung kay, ano, kay uh, CLP, I'm gonna call you CLP, I'm gonna call you sponsor as a woman. Um, in terms of those things, I believe that the number one thing that you can do right now is to apply for a uh, divorce. Yung ang pinaka-importante kasi legally right now, CLP is still married from the Philippines. Okay, common law partner is still married from the Philippines. And then, ikaw, I know you're single, that's a great thing. I know you're permanent resident, that's also a good thing. Um, there's always a way, what I can suggest, <clears throat> kasi nga, hindi, ka pwedeng mag, hindi kayo pwedeng magpakasal. Kasi nga, uh, married ka pa. So, kailan mo pinasa yung, ano mo, yung um, uh, uh, divorce uh, application mo? Uh, last month, kaya lang po kasi, pinabalik sa amin dito sa family court. Ibalik na namin sa Philippines kasi mali yung pagka-notary. Oh, mali yung so, pagka-notary. Okay. Opo. Kasi, so ngayon, iniintay namin, darating yung papers na October 11, tsaka alam po namin ulit ipapasa dito ipapasa. sa family court. Okay, yeah. Sometimes it takes 6 to 8 months. Ang, um, uh, I hope na I'm wrong, but it, that, that is the normal uh, processing as long as you do the right thing in terms of divorce. Okay. So that is a part of my consultation for common law partner. It's a complicated situation when you think and you or maybe you realize that your spouse or your common law partner that you've been thinking of is actually married back in the Philippines. And also if that person is not the real person that you thought of. Um, they can they can change their own family history they can change their own um, identity 
and that's happening everyone i completely guarantee you it is happening here in 